ahead and take that home with you. That should just about do it. Thanks. Guess I'm done here then. See you tomorrow. Uh, sorry, hold on. Could you two take these boxes over to the music room? Why? Well, you happen to be around. I think the boxes are packed full of sheet music. They're really heavy, so be careful not to hurt yourselves. I signed for these packages on behalf of the music club, but I can't keep them here forever. That damn Ekota. I mean, D Mr. Ekota has been talking my ear off, nagging me to get them out of here. Come on, we can't let the poor teacher carry all that herself. Let's help her out. Ooh, now that's what I like to hear, Mochizuki-kun. Why don't I bump both your composition grades up a little? Joking, of course. I wouldn't mind handling this by myself, but I did just transfer here. Do you think you could show me the way to the music room? Whew. I think that's all of it. That was harder than I expected, but the teacher needed our help, right? I gotta say, though, you are stronger than you look, huh? Do you work out or something? Oh, are you on a sports team? Like baseball or soccer? I think there's a track team, too. I'd like to join one, too, but I guess they're not recruiting right now. Oh, that's right. This caught my eye when we walked in. I noticed you're always wearing headphones. I take it you're really into music? How about I play you a song to break the ice between us? Sound good? Great! And here goes. if I impressed you, it might be a good way for us to hit it off. There's so much that I'm not comfortable or familiar with yet, so I want to keep learning and trying new things. I heard you transferred here too, back in spring. Seems like we have a thing or two in common. You think we can be friends? What do you say? It does somehow feel like we've known each other for a long time already. So, uh, what are we supposed to do in this situation? Oh, right! I think we exchange phone numbers? Uh, sorry, I don't have my phone right now. Why don't you just give me your contact info? I'll note it down and get back to you later. Thanks. I'll be in touch. Looks like we still have some time before it gets dark. How about you show me around the school? Just whatever parts you're familiar with. Um, it's nice to meet you? So, you said you needed to talk to me? Yeah! Keep your hands off our girlfriends! All I've been hearing her talk about is Ryoji-kun. Yeah! You need to stop talking to every girl you see! Oh... Um... Sorry... I actually have no idea which girls you're talking about. There's been too many that have come up to me. Is this a joke to you? I'm sorry if I offended you, but I haven't made any moves on anyone. I just invited them out for a bite to eat. That's exactly what we call making a move. That's a problem. I've made a promise to go out with them. I can't just cancel due to my inconvenience. C 
Quit messing with us! Give me your phone. I'm gonna delete all the contact info you have. Who the hell are you? This is none of your business. Are you taking his side? Hey, it's that guy from 2F. I heard he's friends with Sonata Senpai and the student council president. They live in the same dorm. What do we do? If he tells them, then... <laughs> Look, just stay the hell away from our girlfriends and delete them from your contacts. Got it? Uh, all right. I'll do it. Better watch out, or he'll steal your girlfriend, too. Sorry. I didn't mean to make trouble for you. <laughs> Is that what you call it? That wasn't really my intention. And right, from now on, I will ask if they have a boyfriend first, before inviting them out. Hey, thanks for having my back. You're very kind. <sighs> what a great view. The ocean looks so beautiful. I do like seeing it from the monorail to school each morning, but it looks so different from up here. Hmm. I wonder why those guys were so mad. If you're in a relationship with someone, that means you like each other, right? I don't think me getting in the picture would change that, would it? I wonder what it means to like someone. Do you have someone like that? Wow, that must be nice. Is it anybody I know? I wonder what you two talk about. I guess there's still a lot that I don't understand. Look at the world out there. The people in this city, our classmates in school, and you. I want to know more about all of it. All right, uh, since I dragged you into this mess today, let me make it up to you. I'll treat you to ramen. I just had some with Junpei-kun the other day. And while we're at it, maybe you can show me around town. I'd like to know what kind of places you like going to. Wow. I didn't know you could come all the way down here. Going on trips is great, huh? I've seen a lot of the sights here now, and everything is so fascinating. And there's so much I've never seen before. My mind's having trouble keeping up. I even bought myself a souvenir. Look, it's a music box. Doesn't it sound nice? I don't know the name of the song, though. <laughs> I'm kind of glad to hear you say that. Sometime, way down the line, I'll listen to this melody. And when I do, I'll think back fondly on this trip. Evening sun is so bright, reflecting off the water's surface. It's different from the view we get from the school roof. I wonder if this is the reason why people come to visit. But did you know, a long time ago, this place used to be an execution site. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to darken the mood all of a sudden. And that stuff happened a long time ago. Besides, it's still nice and bright out right now. I've heard rivers have long been thought to be a border between this world and the afterlife. But with so many couples around, it doesn't really give that impression, huh? You know, I've been thinking, every one of us will die someday, right? Eventually, the time will come when we have to part. So then, why? Why do people try so hard to connect with each other? I'm not just talking about romance either. It's the same for friends, family, everyone. For each person you connect with, it just makes saying goodbye that much harder. So, what's the point? So you mean, we just can't stand the pain of being alone? But. Look at everyone around us. 
They've chosen their partners out of a large crowd, haven't they? So, it's not about loneliness. They genuinely want to be with each other, right? Oops, sorry. Conversation got a bit heavy there. Looking out at the river just made me think about things for some reason. If you follow the flow of water, you'll eventually reach the ocean, right? Its destination is already decided. But it takes so many different forms before it gets there. Sometimes it's quiet and calm. Other times it's choppy rapids. Sometimes it's clear, but other times murky. I imagine we're the same way. We're all in the midst of a long journey with all kinds of things happening as we go along. I never realized any of this until coming on this trip with you. Everything feels that much more fascinating when you're here. I guess you could say, it expands my horizons. Time spent talking together with you like this just feels precious to me. <laughs> it kind of sounds like I'm confessing my love or something, huh? <sighs> the wind is chilly out here by the water. We should probably head back. Don't want to get in the way of all the couples. Hey, thanks for coming. Well... How do I put this? I suddenly just got this feeling that I'm running out of time, and I felt like I had to see you. I had to talk to you. <sighs> Sorry. I'm not even sure what I wanted to say to you. So, I guess for today, I'd like to say thanks. It hasn't been that long since we met. I feel like I've learned so much by spending time with you. I just really wanted to thank you for that. You showed me around the school and the city. I got to hang out with you and the others. I even got to go on a trip with you. That was a lot of fun. It's been a joy to experience and learn new things every day. like this. I guess I wanted you to hear this song. When I saw those couples in Kyoto, or when I visited you guys at the dorm, I realized that's what it really means to build a connection with someone. It's that feeling of overcoming something together and keeping each other going. Both sides need to come to an understanding. That's how connections are built, right? I want you to know that you're important to me. I know I said I wanted us to be friends, but... I actually want to be something more. What about you? I don't really get it myself, but I... Excuse me? Oh, it's you. Sorry. I hope I didn't interrupt. I was just passing through the hall, and I heard someone playing a beautiful song on the piano. So I thought I'd stop by to watch the performance. Who was the one playing? Was it you? Oh, I wanted to ask. It might have just been my imagination, but I thought I sensed Ryoji-kun's presence in this room. Were you not with him? Hmm? Hey, it's been a long time since we talked like this in your room. Though, back then, I had a different form and a different name. It seems like you all decided to let me live. 
You're all going to risk your lives on a battle you can't win. But they're not the ones here right now. You are. I'll say this one more time. If you kill me, Tartarus, the Dark Hour, and the memories of your battles will all disappear. Tomorrow, you'll wake up as a normal high school student. You'll be able to live in peace until the moment of the fall. But if you let me live, you'll spend every waking moment until that day dreading your inevitable death. Nyx can't be defeated. It's pointless to fight her. Are you still thinking, or have you already made up your mind? I guess I wasn't able to change your mind. There's still some time until midnight. I didn't want to have to show you this, but I have no choice. Do you see? I am not human. I will bring death to this world until I am finally satiated. There is no need to hesitate over killing me. Now, consider this very carefully. Is confronting Nyx really what everyone wants? Some things in this world cannot be changed. That's something you can't comprehend. Memories are not set in stone. Old ones can be replaced with new ones, creating a new reality. Don't you think you should put a stop to everyone's pain and suffering? It's up to you. Only you can make this decision. Now, this is your last chance. Tell me your answer. Please kill me more than anything. I don't want to see you suffer. After all, you're someone very special to me. I understand. As sad as I am to hear it, it's your life. You're free to do what you want with it. I'll respect your decision. Let's get back to the others. I need to tell you guys how to confront Nyx. <sighs> Somehow, I knew that's what you'd choose. I know you better than anyone, after all. I have this feeling like... I always wanted to see you again. That's why I came back to you as Ryoji Mochizuki. Maybe... There really is some power out there that can do the impossible. And if there is, I know you all have it. Oh, right. Here. I want you to have this. I know this isn't exactly the best timing, but I never thought I'd feel this way. Whenever you play this music box, I hope that... You remember me. Come on, let's go. Everyone's waiting. <laughs> 